The Attraxa brand of tracking technology from Canada-based NDI, used with the Pico Neo 2, demonstrates a means of tracking that doesn't rely on cameras. The way they do is to generate an electromagnetic field that can track through most materials, including human tissue. As you can see, Ian's swords and Beat Saber are tracking while his hands are behind his back. He can't play too well, mind you, but it does appear to be tracking accurately. As these controllers don't rely on your headset picking them up visually, you're free to take wide swings, block attacks from behind, and forget about all those tracking limitations you frequently see with a headset like Oculus Quest. The range on these controllers is also impressive. You could put these out to 1.2 meters and they would still easily pick up movement, no matter how far your arm is stretched. And it's all thanks to this transmitter and the size of it. The controllers themselves are fairly hefty. As they rely on electromagnetics rather than optical tracking, they also lack the ring tracking design that you'd see from Oculus, HTC and Valve. But with the increase in size and weight, the question of battery life is next. It could vary depending on design, but we're told that what we saw at CES could last for four to eight hours, depending on how you use them. The Attraxa controllers know when to vary power usage depending on their proximity to the headset. The further away you are, the more power it needs, and vice versa. We were told that having the controllers around 0.4 meters away from the headset is the sweet spot to getting the most usage out of them. We only had some brief hands-on time with the technology at CES, but Ian definitely enjoyed the robust resistance to occlusion. In both Angry Birds VR and Beat Saber, he was able to quickly demonstrate its advantages over optical tracking systems, and having that extra freedom available when you need it makes a difference.